Something that comes up quite often in the clinic is the fact that uh, the person's often talking about the f they have a leg length discrepancy, or they're out of balance in some way. Uh, now, it's not to say that the person doesn't have a leg length discrepancy. It's more, does this leg length discrepancy actually have an impact on their back pain? And the honest answer is no. Uh, there are one or two papers out there, and I'll put them into... Um, thing into it when we put it up on the blog and there's a, a bit of a written article to go along with this little video uh, I'll put the references up there for you uh, but essentially there isn't really any relationship between a uh, leg length discrepancy and um, lower back pain you know may uh, say that even that it doesn't change the movement of the the lumbar spine and pelvis very much even when the difference is as much as three centimetres. So you know, quite a significant difference between the length of each leg and it really makes no odds. The body adapts to it really, really well. Um, and the other thing to remember is that quite often, in most cases really, uh, where there is a leg length discrepancy, it, it's soft tissue in origin. But there might be tension somewhere that's creating these changes that's, that become apparent when you're lying down, but don't exist when you're standing up. Um, that, and these soft tissue things are generally quite easy to sort out. Um, but the main take home point is that leg length discrepancy doesn't really relate to back pain particularly well. Other structural issues such as uh, lumbar lordosis, pelvic tilt, the length of the abs, the hamstring psoas, again, don't really seem to affect the motion of the lumbar spine or the pelvis such that you would, or in a, in a way that you think they might. Uh, so there is minimal change in, in how the spine and pelvis moves, even when there may well be what you know, certainly what appears to be you know, structural differences uh, there. Um, so the, the take home really is that when somebody's telling you you've got a leg length discrepancy or you've got short hamstrings or you have a pelvic tilt, uh, these things aren't actually going to cause you, you know, going to really be the cause of lower back pain. Uh, again, it probably comes back more to um, load tolerance of whatever activity you've been involved in. Um, so getting fitter, getting healthier, getting stronger, uh, these are all factors that, you know, things that should be taken into consideration when you want to get out of, you know, sort of non-specific back pain that niggles away at you from time to time, uh, much more so than is one leg the same length as the other, which, like I say, doesn't really have an impact on back pain. I'll stick the references up once we get a little, little written article to go along with this, uh, and you can check them out yourself.